I grew up in the Andes Mountains, so I had a propensity to live in the mountains and couldn't wait to get back. So I've been living in and around the Gila for over 40 years. In the horse business, you have to do everything you can do <laughs> associated with the horse to make a living. So I train horses, I give riding lessons, I bring people out on the trail. Horses have made my living for me. It's a lot more wide open than the forests further north, so that in a lot of places in the Gila you can ride cross country. I've been active in promoting the Gila as a wild and scenic river. It's one of the last free-flowing rivers we have. It needs to stay that way. I mean, we have to hold on to what little we have left. Recreation is a big part of our economy, so it's not only the spiritual end of it, it's our livelihood. You can't really put a value on it. It's essential. I've been running since high school. I started like my junior year and then fell in love with it and haven't stopped. It's just a good way to clear your mind, take some time out of your day just for yourself, just to be outside. It's a big part of me in my life. I had never seen anything like the Gila before. When people come to visit me, this is where I take them. It's rugged, remote, and it's a big part why I'm staying here. Like, I want to raise my family here. It's a very unique place, and it would be a shame if we lost our free flowing river. Originally, I'm from a little village called Horsey on the uh, east coast of England. I moved here in 2004. And when I started to see the outdoor access that this area has to offer, I found myself unable to leave. Started with mountain biking, and then it went road biking, and then it went hiking, and then backpacking, and more recently, kayaking. You really feel like you're always having an incredible adventure. Well, it's beautiful, it's rugged, it feels unspoiled. I would say I've got a lot to thank the area for because the kids grew up knowing that if I said, hey, we're gonna go hiking, there was always gonna be a petroglyph or a waterfall or a hot spring or a view that was breathtaking. Fortunately, there are people who, who see the value of protecting it. I think it's the area's most valuable resource.